Welcome to QAvalidation.com So in our Java for QA video series, today's topic is uh, the use of this keyword. Okay, so we have seen different uh, videos uh, like uh, how to deal with the strings, how to deal with inheritance, abstraction, and your uh, string arrays, uh, all those things. So now we will move ahead with a different topic that is this keyword. Now, what exactly is the, this keyword? So basically, this refers to the current class uh, variables or the methods. So it means that the instance variables or the instance methods now why do we have this this keyword and what is the benefit of the using this keyword we will see one by one okay so let's get started now so what I will do I'll create a new package here so let's create a package and say keywords okay and then under this I'll create a new class okay so let's say that this one I will say this usage some name okay and I'll create a main method so let me write the code base and then I will explain uh, what is the use of this for in this situation okay so let's say I will create a class okay and in this class I'll create a global variable so let's say int id and give some value fine and after that I'll create one more method okay so let's say that uh, display data okay and here I'll pass that id fine and then here let me display that fine okay and here I will say that uh, value of id fine and here plus id okay now what i will do i'll create a object an object of this particular class in this main method so this usage some name and fine and now here i'll call this method let's say that and display data and then i will pass let's say 12 fine now let's run this one okay so as expected you will get this one as 12 only but there are situations where uh, like um, what do you call if you want to assign this particular way uh, what you call value into this one okay so in that case what you need to do so now if you see here this is my instance variable or the class variable and this is my local variable so whenever I'm sending some uh, what you call value into this then this will be assigned as a local variable this one okay but in this case so let's say that uh, now if I want to print this value now how do I do because whenever I will use the ID it will always take this value only now to access this value what I need to do I need to let me copy paste this one and here I will use this dot ID fine now let me print this one and I will say here this ID And if you see here value of id that is my local variable that is 12 which i am sending from this object and then value of this id is 10 which is this instance variable okay so sometimes let's say that uh, like setting uh, setters and getters so in that time what i can do here i can use like this and here so let's say that i want to even assign this well so whatever this object is sending i want to assign to here so what i can do here this dot id means this one equal to id okay so here this id refers to this id and this dot id refers to this one okay like that now here whatever i will print it so let's say that i will print now this dot id now let's see the value now the value will be changing to 12 now so here you can see it is 12 that is local variable and then my value of id before assigning is 10 and then after assigning it become 12 again okay so like this so the here this keyword refers to the 
what do you call the current class variables okay so this is uh, normally the instance variables okay so this is one of the uses of this so whenever the concept is whenever the local variable and the instance variables are in the same name and you want to assign the value to this one you can refer the uh, what you call instance variable as this dot id so this is basically referring to the current class variables fine okay so now another usage of this so basically now before moving on what i can say that this keyword is a non-static variable so whenever i will use this one it should be non-static so let's say that where i will say so for example let's say i'll make it as a static okay so in this case i should not use this one because that way what happens your uh, static methods and uh, what do you call should not use for static members basically okay so it should be always for non-static variables because static is basically what happens the same value is shared across your uh, what you call code or program so you should not use that one okay so it should be always with a non-static variables fine okay now the next thing so here we have seen that uh, uh, what do you call for the variables the same thing we can do for the methods also so let me create another class and here one more thing if i give some other name let's say that if this name local name is different then i need not to use this okay i can directly use this one whenever it is same name that time only it will be a problem to what do you call to access those things fine okay so now let's create another class and this time i can say that uh, this with class this with method okay fine so here what happens now is uh, i told that uh, this always refers to the current instance variable the same thing this keyword can be used to call the current class methods as well so what happens let's say that you have uh, two methods in the same class so i'll say that i'll create one method here so let's say that uh, i'll create void and here let's say that uh, call this some name okay and here i'll give the now let's keep that as it is and i'll create another method and this will be only disp fine and here what i will do i'll write some string here let's say from disp method fine okay fine now here i'll create an object of this particular class so here this one and here some name equal to new okay fine now here what i will do i'll call this particular call display dot call display method now let's say that i want to access this uh, in this method this method this method inside this so what i can do i can directly call like this okay that way also it will work sorry okay like this and also this disp is nothing but this dot display okay so here like this if i run this one you can see the output okay output from disp method okay here like this so always what happens as i told this always refers to the current class methods so the way it is accessing the variables the same way it can access to the methods as well okay now here comes another thing like this particular uh, what do you call keyword even we can use to call the current class constructor as well so now if you see here like this one and this one there is no difference because whenever i will call this particular method the compiler will always refers to this dot disp okay the same thing so let's say that uh, i have a constructor here now what i will do here i will create this one and this constructor fine 
and here what i will do let's say that i will print something here constructor fine like this now what happens let's say that i want to call this particular constructor in any one of these methods fine now here what i will do the same thing i'll create a parameterized constructor okay and here let's say boolean some something i'm passing here and i will say parameterized constructor okay fine just for the uh, what you call just to show that uh, this one uh, i'm not using this flag anywhere inside so let's say that uh, so whenever i create this object this this method object what happens this particular constructor will be called as a default because it's a default constructor fine so let's say that i want to call this particular what you call method now here i have already created an object default constructor but i want to call this particular method so what i can do here i can do like this and here i can send some value here i can do like this now what happens this is basically what happens calls to a constructor okay so when i don't mention this dot so if you would have seen in my uh, just before this dot display method so it will go to the current class method okay because if any display methods are there in other class also it will always refer to this particular class but when i only say this of a bracket then it will always refers to what happens to the current class constructor okay so if i don't mention this dot any method then this will refer to the current class now let me run this one see i didn't call what you call the when i was creating an object i was just what you call instantiating with a default constructor but this default constructor will automatically call this parameterized constructor so let me run this one and see what is the output so it says call to a parameterized constructor because this will execute because this particular what you call uh, uh, object creation will call this one and this will in turn call to the this of true it means that uh, it will search if there is any constructor is there what kind of constructor parameterized constructor so it calls this one and call to parameterized constructor will print now the next line is call to default constructor and then it goes to the display method which we explicitly called this call display and this in turn calls to this one fine sorry this one this display method so here you can see now one more thing here so now you have seen this of uh, uh, what you call this constructor i mentioned here right now here let's say i will put like this okay now it it throws an error you can see what it says constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor okay so what it says that whenever you are calling anything like any constructor it should be the first line okay here this throws error okay so this is the correct so this always what do you call whenever you call anything by using this this should be first line of your method so whatever you are writing it doesn't matter but the first line if you are using it should be on the first line it can't be like last or in middle okay so that is one of the rule you need to what do you call keep into mind whenever you want to ex use the this keyword fine okay so now another thing so now we have seen how we can call a constructor how we can refer to the current class instance variable or current class methods okay now we will see another thing that we can use the this as a what you call as your argument as an argument also okay like we can pass the this keyword inside this a method as a parameter also so let's see that how we can do that so here let me close everything and i will create another class okay and i will say this argument let's say and i will create a public static void main fine now here we will see how we can pass a parameter this is a parameter okay now what i will do i'll create a constructor again okay let it be like this we will implement it later 
okay now here what happens we will call we will create another method let's say the same this method and here i will put a sys display out and here what i will say thing with this argument something some message i am passing here okay now here what happens i want to send the this as a parameter so here what i will do i'll call this one okay and here as i told i can send this one is what you call this now what happens what is the error it is showing okay because it is telling that the method display don't have any arguments here but we will fix that later but i can do like this as well this for this okay now what exactly as i told just before that this always refers to this particular current class right now whenever i am passing this one what happens indirectly i am sending an object of this now here what i can do i can now this is class and here i can do like this as well fine now here what happens now basically here so whenever i will send this one it means that this takes as an what do you call argument so object this always refers to the class and this is what happens this object also refers to the class okay fine so whenever i will say this of this this will be executed okay so now here let me create a an object to call that particular method now here so this is my default constructor right so if i create an object so let's say that some name equal to new now i need not to call any method this method i need not to call because this the, whenever i am instantiating this particular object what it does it will call the default constructor now this default constructor will call the display method which have this class argument now here i have what you call this particular uh, display method have an object that is referring to this particular uh, what you call class so now if i run this one here you can see this will be executed fine so this is the way you can what you call you can uh, pass an argument also so whenever you have multiple methods so let's say that if i have a uh, what you call so let me do like this and here if this is let's say this is like this and the testing display oh, so this is display okay without argument let's say without argument and if i run this one always it will run this one because this display this always refers to this one not this because this don't have any parameter okay and what happens whenever this uh, what do you call this argument is i'm not using that object but you can use to call any one of these methods fine so this way you can access that one okay so we have seen how we can handle uh, what do you call this keyword with variables with methods as a parameter now we can use this one to return this one also return as an object so i can use return this we will see that how we can do that so let me create a new class so see i'm just giving different usage of uh, what you call this keyword and its benefits so whenever you are trying to write any of the programs or any automation testing then you can uh, think up a situation and you can recall this particular what you call usage of this and you can utilize it so most uh, what you call uh, scenarios that i have seen uh, by using this is whenever you want to refer to a variable where your local and global variables are same or else if you want to call to your current class constructor that time this is what you call very much uh, what you call uh, flexible or very much benefited to use that okay so now we will see how we can uh, use the return this keyword fine so let me create this one okay so now here what happens so whenever i am returning this what i will do so let's do like this i will create another class here 
and even what i can do so let's say that i will put it outside of this class so here i don't need this one now here this is a subclass and here let's say i will create a variable here as a global variable i will create a what you call a method by using uh, what you call this particular class okay as a return type okay so here in subclass fine I'm just giving some name for easy understanding and here I will assign the value as a 10 okay I'm not passing any what you call variable here directly I'm accessing so whenever I'm not passing anything this particular class variable I can directly access it so no problem with that and what I will do here I will say written this now whenever I will say return this what happens this always refers to the current class right so whenever I'm saying return this it means that I'm returning this particular class actually here okay now what happens so let's say that I will create another method and this will be disp okay and here I will print something so let's say like this and here let's say I will say class inside class this is my subclass okay subclass and display method so method is display method fine just to what you call whenever we will call uh, the compiler will call this one this will be printing fine okay fine so here what happens I will create an object of this uh, subclass okay fine here what happens now whenever what I can do I can call this particular what do you call in subclass now so now whenever I will call this method what happens the, this will return this actually this in subclass will return this one this is basically what it is referring to the current class now whenever I will put dot you can see I can access the display here like this okay so what is happening whenever I say written this it means that it is nothing but returning this particular class or an uh, kind of an object of that class now whenever I am creating an object of this then by in this class whatever methods are there I can use I can access that one so here like this now if I run this one let's see what it prints so here you can see this particular method it is printing it means that what happens whenever I will call by using this method and whenever I use written this it means that I'm getting that particular class object and then I can access whatever what you call methods are there inside this even I can use this ID also so let's see if I can use that one or not let's see so here up to here let me use this one and then whenever I will put dot I can use this ID also ID is from subclass now if you see this one it will print as 10 because I have already assigned here that's why it is printing me 10 like this okay so th these are the different uh, what you call uses of this and their benefits so as I told depending on your situation you can uh, utilize this keyword so hope this helps um, so stay tuned with such more videos and do subscribe to my youtube channel